Let's look at the relevant preferences relate to importing. So under Lightroom, preferences, select that. The general tab, these are the three import options right here. If I select show import dialog when a memory card is detected, Lightroom will automatically detect when you hook up a card reader or put a CF card into a card reader and will pop up the import dialog automatically. If you don't like things popping up automatically when you're in the middle of doing something, I would deselect that. And you could always import manually just by selecting the import button in the library module. If you select ignore camera generated folder names when naming folders, Lightroom will just do that. It will ignore any folder hierarchy that your camera generates and just put all the images into one folder. And that really depends on how your camera's handling files, whether or not you want that to be on or off. I would imagine it's just easier to put everything into one folder rather than have multiple folders that some of these cameras generate. But again, that's up to you and how your camera's handling the files. This is something that a lot of people get confused about. And the option is to treat JPEG files next to RAW files as separate photos. Many digital cameras now will shoot a RAW file plus JPEG. The JPEG file that's generated is baked. In other words, all your settings in your camera, whether you set it to grayscale or black and white or vivid color or low sharpening, high sharpening, all these are baked into the JPEG. Those settings are not baked into the RAW file. So when you get a RAW file in Lightroom, Lightroom basically just sets the RAW file the way if you want to maintain a record of how you set the camera, I suggest that you bring in the JPEGs and the RAW files together. They're separate photos. They exist in the Lightroom database together. You can see them in the library module next to each other. And you can actually can compare them. The RAW file becomes compared to the JPEG file, which may or may not be important to you. Just remember, though, that if you deselect this, the JPEG files will not show up in Lightroom, but they're not deleted, they're not thrown away, they still exist in your hard drive. This is just a way for you to streamline your library so you don't have so many what appears to be duplicate files presented in front of you. I could see going both ways. It really depends on how you look at the JPEG that's generated by the camera, whether you want to use that as a reference. The other options are found over here in the catalog settings under file handling. And these options have to do with the way that the standard previews are generated by Lightroom. Remember on the import, we could have chosen that as an option, as well as one-to-one, -one, which is a full version, same pixel resolution as your original. Uh, the standard preview is based on your settings here in the catalog settings preferences. And you see you have four choices. It's up to you and partially dependent on the size of your monitor because these are relevant dimensions when you're in the library module in the loop mode. Set your standard preview size, let's say at 1440. That's the size that will pop up immediately when you're reviewing images. If you have a monitor that's going to fill, that's the size you want. If you have a very large monitor, you want to go to a higher setting and that size will fill your screen and be immediately available to you if you've selected standard preview size. Just keep in mind, though, that Lightroom is going to generate a preview that it needs. If it needs one-to-one, -one, for example, when you enlarge the image or when you blow it up on the screen, it will generate a one-to-one. -one. It will generate it. It doesn't matter what you set here. The standard preview is not going to really give you the correct sharpening and the correct noise reduction settings, but it will give you a very quickly a full screen, depending on how you set it and the size of your screen, preview that you can use in the library module. Preview quality, basically, I mean, this is like a JPEG setting, and medium should be fine. I really don't see much advantage to going to the higher setting. It's just going to make a larger file. It's going to fill up space on your hard drive that much quicker. So probably medium would just be fine. Here, previews build up in time. Every time you generate a preview, they are on your hard drive as part of the catalog. You may want to have this set to discard those previews at a certain point, and this is where you do that. I've set it for 30 days. They just gets rid of the one-to-one -one previews. And that really depends on how much space you have on your hard drive and whatnot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because Lightroom is going to generate a preview on the fly. Now, it does matter if you really are speed-oriented and you don't want to sit there. And if you have a slow computer, say, and you don't want to wait for Lightroom to generate the previews, you want them to be on hand, immediately available, then you may consider just keeping the previews. But it's really one of those calls based on your needs, speed of your computer, size of your hard drive, etc.
But all this is handled right here under the catalog settings, preferences under file handling.